is Claire from Diamond Painting Nerd and welcome to a kitting up video. So this is my first ever Diamond Art Club kit up. Um, so I have been dying to start on this. This is the second Diamond Art Club that I bought. I bought it from a D-stash, uh, a D-stasher. So um, yeah, I... I just want to get it started. Um, so it's a square drill. There's 35 colours. So, oh no, I've lost some of the stickers. Where have they gone? Oh man. Okay, so um, I need to sort this disaster. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm an unhappy bunny because... The stickers are forever gone. I have no idea where they've gone. I haven't seen them anywhere um, to notice that they've fallen off. Um, let me know if you ever had this issue before. Um, I know these are rolled really tightly in the in the um, inside the canvases, but um, I'm sure they were there when I unboxed this. So I don't know how they've fallen off and where they've gone, but um, I have noticed they're quite um, there. Yeah, that some of them were peeling off when I got it. Anyway. Anyway, and this was me saying I'm actually going to um, kit up using the Diamond Art Club stickers. Now I tend to use the um, I tend to use the not the ser like the serial number I think it's called on these, um, which is the first number or the number down the first column. Um, so I am going to remove because I'm going to replace all of these stickers anyway with um, with some printed numbers i'm hoping that these are going to be easy enough to um just remove okay perhaps i'll um stick this on fast forward and get these off okay so i've got all of the sticky labels off of those pots um they're not absolutely perfect but I don't care um anyway so the reason I removed all of the numbers is because um this kit is um quite a big one it is a 70 by 87 so I would imagine that the drills I'm going to end up needing multiple packs so I've got a couple of ways that I can deal with the issue of the missing stickers um I could I could go and sit in a corner and cry about it or um, there are a couple of pra practical ways to deal with it. Um, one, I could always write the symbols out myself um, and stick them on the bottles. Um, two, I could take a photograph of the legend, print it um, and add the adhesive either through a Xyron or through um, some double sided. I could just use double sided tape. Um, a tape runner or I could just use um, double-sided sheets um, or I could just print it on printer stick uh, pr uh, sticker paper that's what I meant um, I'm going to take the easy route and I'm just going to write the symbols because I work from these numbers anyway so um, it's really not going to bother me it is going to bother me but I'm going to have to let it not bother me so let me grab the drills because we need those right <laughs> So we have a butt ton of drills and these are square. So yeah, we have quite a few. Uh, this kit is called the Whispered Word Lenore, um, if you were wondering. So anyway, let us start with number one. Um, I love the fact that these do fit um, perfectly on the top of the little bottles. Um, so let's go and find what's going to be the easiest way to deal with this. Uh, I think it's just going to be a free for all. Actually, what I'll do is 310, 310, 310, 310, 310, 310, 310. Let me move those packs of 310 out of the way. So that's some um, that I don't have to deal with. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm probably going to break this down into 3939, four packs of those. And then we have... Oh, 938, there's three packs of those. 2371, there's just one. 796, there's two of those. 414. So I'm going to cut them into strips so I know how many packs of each that I've got. Okay, 317, there's two of those. 
820. There are three of those. 745. There are three of those. 413. 762. 3855. And whilst I'm doing this, I'm still on the hunt for number 138. So. It's going to be one of the light packs because it's got the ABs in. And I don't think there's many ABs in the 823. Um, no. I feel the way this end. Right, 312. 995. 318. Not 138, which is the one I'm looking for. 322. Seven seven nine four one five eight zero three three four eight three eight four three 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 four one three eight. Woo! So that's the one I'm looking for. And we have these are all just going to be single bags because there are only a few in each. There is the other AB, so I'll pop that there. Oh, this is bent. I don't want to end up cutting through the seal um, or opening that seal up because that would be a disaster. Okay, so we just have the single packet. So we have a 138. So I'm just going to grab a tray because I have a habit of spilling things everywhere. Um, so as I've said before in previous videos, always cut, if you're going to cut the diagonal, always cut from this side rather than this side, because it's so much easier to tip the drills in when you cut it from this side, as opposed to the sealed side. So let's go. Beautiful AB, this one. I just wish that there were more of them. So this is a number one, three, eight. Uh, then we have a number uh, one, four, one, which I had already seen in here anyway. So I've grabbed that out already. So we'll pour these in here. Looks like we've got a little hitchhiker in there as well. I will deal with him when I come to use these drills. But he can stay in there for now. So we have a number two. Number three is a 310. Now I need to work out how I'm going to deal with this because there are a gajillion um, 310s and I don't want about 50 pops of 310. So I think what I'm going to do is um, when I have loads and loads and loads, um, I will stash them in the um top of the little um mesh pouch in the bag that i'm working in um because i don't need uh 10 pots of 310 and i'm not even sure all of these are going to go in to be honest but we will see nope that's not going to happen so what i might do is i might give myself two pots of 310 there are a lot of 310 in here um, so let's make that 310 and then, oh, it has to be the right way up. And then the next pot, I'm not going to label the next pot. I'm going to know that the one after is also the same color. So let's give myself two pots of 310 because I'm going to do the same with the other ones that have more than one bag as well. Um, if, oh, we've got some static going on in there. Um, yeah, so that I know that that next one will also be a 310. So then we have a number four, which is how I'll be working. But uh, that is symbol H and that is 312. Uh, 321. 312. 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 1, 8. Oh, 312. Here we are. 312. So... Um, and this is why, although this is only 35 colours, um, it's a big canvas. So I would imagine... Whoa, what are you still doing out? Oh, did I put the lid on that one? 
Oh, did I? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I just picked up the next one, maybe. That's probably what I did. Right. And I've already spilled two. Okay. So we have... Come on, I need you to fit in here. I'm hoping that bag, other bag's slightly lighter then. So we have a 312. These are going to be absolutely chocker pots, I think. Apart from the ones that I've only got a few of. So let's pop those in there. And yeah, I think this feels like quite a full bag as well. Come on, you're going to have to go in. I'm going to end up overfilling these. You watch. Um, where's my lid? Um, there. Come on. I wouldn't suggest doing this. This is not um, not a clever idea, but I cannot stand just to have this small amount left in a bag, and I, you know, needing another pot for them. There we are. So we have two super filled pots there. So now we're going to move on to the ones that the two stickers that are missing now i did get my sharpie pen out because i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a look on the legend so five is a hashtag so at least that's going to be um nice and easy to replicate and that is color number three one seven okay to be careful because that sharpie is going to be wet for a little bit so here we are let's pop this on here um, and let's also do number six whilst I'm here as well so six is a plus sign so again nice and easy one to replicate and that is three one eight you watch I'll find these stickers stuck to something like my jumper or I don't know they'll be somewhere anyway so we're going to do number five which is three one seven uh what color is that it's a gray so 318 which is the next one so i'll keep that to one side 415 it's going to be one of these bigger parts 317 here we are okay so these feel chunky so i'm probably i might have to make a decision on this and if it gets Yeah, there's no way that I'm going to be able to get two packs in two pots. So I'm going to, I'm going to allow it two pots anyway, because these packs are chocker. Bless the dog hair. And then I will pop the other 317 in the top pouch. And then I'll top that up when, um, when I'm running low. So then we have six. Oh, this makes my heart so unhappy that I'm not going to have. I'm not going to have these stickers, but it is what it is. I have no idea where they've disappeared to. So there's nothing I can do about it. Right. So three, one, eight. Um, only needs a one. Perfect. That's what I like to see. Um, and then we move on and yay, stickers are back. Um, so we have number seven, which is three, two, one, which is like a brownie color. 
um, three, nope, not that one, three, eight, six, one, three, it would help if I actually turned all the numbers over, wouldn't it? 600, three, two, oh, three, two, one, it's not, it's like a red. I thought that was going to be um, something else. Three, two, one. Okay, let's get these ones in here. Did that one escape? It did. So this is my only, my second ever square uh, drill kit. Um, the first ever one that I completed. Um, this is what got me started in diamond painting was um, I got sent a... Um, I got sent a diamond painting as a PR package um, from from a company at Victoria Moon um, and it was because I've got another YouTube channel um, where I do scrapbooking so it's other kind of crafts and um, yeah they sent me a diamond painting for review and I just I just never did it um and it was it was sat there it was daunting um i also had like a paint my numbers kit from another company as well and there was that was a disaster for other reasons um so anyway it sat there and um then i kind of forgot about it because it was hidden and um and then i was tidying my craft room one day and i was like oh yeah i kind of poked it down the back of the um of my unit and then i was like okay let me get that out so I got it out and I started, I started it. Oh my goodness me. Like literally, it, I, all, that's all I could think about um, was coming into my craft room and diamond painting. So that's how I knew that I'd caught the bug. Three, two, two. Mm, am I missing something here? Eight, two, three. Three, ah, here we go. Three, two, two. Um, yeah, so that's how I knew that I'd caught um, the diamond painting bug. Um, and literally that was the first and only square painting that I've done. Everything that I've ordered since, to be fair, I've done a lot of budget-friendly kits. Um, they've all been round. I've not seen or had an option of a square one. So um, when I saw this one, I um, was excited that, that it was a square I have also got my um, Joanne's order coming, um, which I think one of them is, I think the Randall Spangler one, um, the Literate Dragon, that one is a, um, that one's a square, I think, three, three, four. Um, and that's, uh, that's 70 by 70 in size. I'm not sure, this is 60 by 80, so it's same uh same area i think if my maths is correct okay three let's just check three three four yep yeah. okay so that is number nine done and then we have ten which is three three six let's pop that on there three three six where are you we are looking for a blue, I think. What number is that? That's not it. 351. 336 right in front of me. Open your eyes, Claire. So let's pop that corner off and let's get these in here. Yeah, you can tell there's a bit of static because when they're going into the pot... They are jumping around, having a little party in there. Hopefully that static will calm down. So that is number 10. And then, got to have the pot straight. And then we are moving on to number 11, which is 351. And if you see any numbers on my desk, when I'm still looking for them, shout them out and tell me where they are. It would be very helpful. There's only a few of these. And we have a hitchhiker in there. It's a green drill wanting to be a peach drill. Oh, I think it's a green round, it is. What are you doing in there? Uh, right, and then moving on to number 12, which is 413. 
Where are you, 413? Uh, four, oh, hang on. Oh, no, 414, 415. Four, ah, 413, these chunky ones. So, again, I think I'm going to have to split split one pack into two pots and then chuck the other bag whoa these are static ah look at that ah they're all sticking oh no oh no do you know what i have less issues with the budget friendly kits with static than i do with the um with the premium kits so i wonder whether it's the potentially to do with the um the drill type so um these being resin versus acrylic um i wonder whether that has any impact on uh the static because I have kitted up so many budget friendly kits with so little issue and like I've not had static like this in any of those kits at all so I just wonder I wonder and if you can tell me what film that's from then you have come to the right place um right so let's pop those in there and then we have number 13 which is oh <laughs> just about to put it on an empty pot uh 13 is uh 414 which is this one these look static as well please no Am I going to get those all in here? No. That is not going to happen. I'll tell you what. I'll pour... I'll pour some into here. I'm probably not going to like it, but... Let's pop the lid on that before I knock those over. So we have 13. And then what I will do is when I'm working on this, I will... Um, I will grab the pot um, beside, I'll grab the overflow pot first um, and I'll use those before I pull from the labelled pot. So we have 14, which is 415, which is right here. That should all go in, yep. And very little static, so that's good. And in she goes. Then we have 15, which is 434, which appears to be kind of a brownie colour. So, yeah, that's that one. I can see another dog here. I have a Labrador and she, I've got two dogs actually. Of a Labrador called Bella, and neither of them are spring pups anymore, they are both uh, senior. So, Bella is 12, and Treacle, my little Yorkie um, Bichon Cross, is uh, 11. And yeah, but they I think they still think they're um, or Treacle certainly still thinks she's a puppy sometimes. Uh, right, six, uh, 600 is this pink up here um so yeah i with the labrador she molts she is obviously long hair and therefore they molt everywhere so you have to get used to having dog hair over your clothes um my husband has to lint roll himself before he goes out to work every morning because he is covered in her fur. And we have 601, which is handy because that's quite just here. So, oh, 
get off. Okay, 601. Other side. Okay, there we are. 601. And then we have 740. It's like the nuclear sign. 740. Oh, you can see why, because it's this bright orange. Let's see what they did there with that one. Okay, 740. Come on, friends. In you go. There we are. Let's just pop him in there. Then we have a number 19, which is 745. I see that. And I see that that is three bags, I think. Three bags! Goodness me, these are all four bags as well. So let's cut two, pop two in the top little uh, mesh pocket. And are you all going to go in here? I don't think you are. Nope. Okay, let's grab another pot. Let's pop the lid on that one so she doesn't fall over. And then in we go. Come on, little fellas, in you get. Whoop. And I think it's just that one, is it? Oh, where's that gone? Oh, it doesn't now want to come out. And I've got a random grey one as well. My drills everywhere. I literally find drills everywhere. I'm not going to lie. I got into bed the other night and um, I took my bra off and I had a drill in my bra. I mean, how does it get in there? It's a bit like sequins as well. As a crafter, sequins tend to get everywhere as well. But... Um, I didn't sign up for, um, I didn't sign up for, uh, hitchhiking drills. Uh, right, where are we? 762, 796, no, that's 823, 762. What a donut. I'm looking for a blue one. It's not. It's white. Well, it's not white. It's the off. It's off white. Okay. Hopefully, we can get away with one pot of these. There's another one just flown across. Oh, no. Come on. I kind of look at it and think, yeah, that'll go in. But it's not happening right today. So let's grab another pot. Let's split some of our little friends into that one. And we'll pop that one in there. And then we'll fill, we'll fill this one up with the rest of the diamonds. Come on, in you go. Oh, no, that's got that's a bit of trash. It's me trying to get a bit of trash in there as well. Okay, so... There we go, that's two pots of that. And then we have, where's my sticker sheet? Here it is. Ugh. Then we have 20, uh, 21, which is 779. I see 779. I see you 779. No, what am I doing? Oh, I've done it again. It's because I'm going to the next pot. And you can't see when these are in the um when these are in there you can't see there's any drills in there at all so seven seven nine in we go and then we have seven nine six where's my lid right seven nine six is this now, if this goes into one bag, I will make this up into two pots. If it doesn't, mm, 
Mm, that's not going to work. I just wonder whether that was a lighter bag than the other one. So I'm just going to do... I'm just going to make this into two pots. And I'm not going to open the other bag. I actually thought that um, each of these bags would fit into their own pot. But it feels um, it feels like that's going to overflow. So I'd rather not take the risk and then have to go into three. So I'm just going to pop that in the top. Then we have number 803. 803 is here. Just a single bag and no issues with those going in. Literally no static, no nothing. Beautiful colour, 803. And then we have 820. Oh, stop doing this. 820. So I've got three bags. So these are chocker ones as well. So I think this is probably going to be two pots. Two pots to itself. So, okay, so 24, and we have another bag of 820, another pop, should I say. This is a thing with a larger canvas because obviously with 35 colours, um, that's not that's not a lot of colours for this size canvas. Um, so I would imagine to have uh, many bags of um, the same colours. So, oh, I keep finding diamonds everywhere. Uh, then we're moving on to this one, 25. 25C, I feel like this one's going to be my lucky number because uh, I was born on the 25th and my name's Claire. So... Uh, eight, two, three. Come on. Oh, it's got to be the, probably the most, oh no. Yeah, probably the most of these behind, uh, 310. Also 939, there looks to be a lot as well, which is pretty standard. Okay, this is going to need two pots. Because we have a lot of these. So at least we're coming into clearing out some of the uh, multiple bags. And we're almost there, guys. Almost there. And then I need to make a decision on where I start on this large canvas. Just look at her face. And the reason I got this is because it just reminds me of my younger days um, with coloured hair and um, little wristlet things on my arms and boots and my my goth days more than um, goth. I mean, in the loosest sense of the term, but, you know, we all went through those phases growing up. Um, right, so 938. 938. This is this brown. be fair I still enjoy um dressing in black dressing in black now I just don't do the um I don't do all the extra things I used to have chains I used to have the big baggy jeans um you know the really heavy makeup um the reason I still don't dress like that is because I can't be bothered it's so much effort. Um, it's so much effort that, yeah, just, just no. And my... Come on! My love of Disney also gets in the way because I have a lot of Disney clothing, um, which doesn't quite match the... Uh... I don't know how I'm still finding these blue drills they just seem to have multiplied everywhere um yeah it doesn't kind of fit in with the the vibe um of 
Lenore, as I'm sure that that is what it means, that she is called Lenore. 939, so, woo, nearly lost those then. We're probably going to need to... Oh, this is getting a little tight up the top here with me extra drills, but they'll all go in. I've got some extra bits up there anyway, um, in terms of uh, waxes and stuff like that, so I can always take those out. They don't need to be in there. Right, 939. Yep. Makes sense to have two of these. 939. And then as I finish a colour, ah, I mean, I'm not too sure on how long this kit's going to take me, to be frank. Um, but as I finish a colour, then I'll move the, or as I finish the second bottle of the colour, if that makes sense, then I'll move my, um, I'll move my pots across, um, to, so they're all in order, so I don't have the spare pots in between. So then we have, that's the extra one of that, then we have number, uh, 28, which is the letter A, which is 995, and I can see him up there. I think all we've got left now are just single packets and then we have two of the 3855 so 3843 3860 yep there were the 38s left this is a really nice color as well i like this one are you coming out to play yep what color is this 995 not sure if i've got that in my stash i don't have many um, I don't have many spare drills. I'm on the early stages of my diamond painting journey. Um, and so I am building up my uh, my leftovers, my spares. Uh, what it does mean is actually it makes me more excited to um, be able to finish a painting purely because I get to kit down and add those to my spares. I mean, how sad is that? Tell me I'm not the only one that um, that feels this way. Tell me you're also driven to get in your painting finish so you can kit down your um spares into your box into well however you store them 29 i'm gonna have to have another bag for these because it's just a little too much to fill and these are static as well so excuse me whilst i have a fight with these Oh man, this is super annoying. And they are literally just going everywhere as well. Get off of me. I might just tap them into the tray rather than trying to wrestle them into the pot. Okay, let's get all of these picked up. I think I've ended up with some on me as well, I have. Um, oh, another one there. Another one there. Okay, I think we're good. Can we get these in without them jumping out? No, they are very static, these ones. Oh, goodness me. It's just weird. It's random that I have so, so few issues with the budget-friendly kits in terms of static. Yeah, the premium kit, and like I said, I don't know whether it's... Is it more prevalent in um, the uh, the resin drills versus the acrylic drills? I don't know. Three seven nine nine. It's this fella here. Um, this feels like it's going to need two pots as well. Yep. I thought so. Three seven nine nine. Give you another pot. Ah! And that's why I put the tray underneath this time. There we are. We are almost there. We have five, five to go. Yep, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we have number 31, which is 3843, which is this blue one here. I 
I'm also going to put this in my logbook and you're going to get a sneak peek. If you've made it this far in the video, you're going to get a sneak peek of the logbook that I've made. 32, which is 3846. Um, I will be doing a, a full video on the logbook. And I may offer... I may offer the printables as a um I may pop them up on Etsy if anybody is um interested. I've worked, I've done quite a lot of work on these printables. Um so you'll get to see them in just a second. 3855. Let's pop that other bag in there. Oops. So I was going to buy, um, I was going to buy a logbook um, and I was having a look at the ones on Amazon and I was just like, they're not personalised enough for me. I want to be able to, um, I want to be able to have a whip section and then to be able to move that around to completed when it's completed. Um, I have a, I have a cinch machine here. If you don't know what one of those is. Um, then it's a machine that um, does the spiral binding. So I have one of those, but the issue with that um, is that it would... Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to tidy up my um, my little offcuts as I'm talking to you. Um, the issue with that is I wouldn't then be able to move round the, um, the, uh, the inserts. Um, then I thought about doing a, a ring bound system, um, just like the normal rings. But then um, I didn't because um, I didn't want six holes in things. And also if I went with a two hole one, just a two ring bind, um, 3860, that one, then um, quite often you'd then have to use reinforcers on your paper because um, it can quite easily get torn out. And I was just like, oh, no. So I... Um, I saw I think someone selling one on Etsy um, in the disc, uh, the disc bound. And the disc bound is really good because that um, is the same as um, the Happy Planner that Mambi make. They use the disc bound. And so I have the punch for it already. Um, so I just bought some, I just bought some discs uh, from, I bought them from Admore Zest actually because I was ordering a tray anyway. Um, actually, I think they might do a um, a journal too, logbook. Um, and so I just ordered the uh, the rings from them, the discs from them, um, and I made my own. So I will show you that in a sh in a second because I'm going to want to add this to my logbook. So um, we are now all kitted up, ready. So this is probably going to be a super duper long video um, because uh, just the nightmare of losing stickers and having to remove them, uh, all the labels, and um, having to kit up 35, but obviously it's a big kit, so um, extras as well. So I am going to say night night to that, so I can pop that away. So she is now ready. Look how beautiful it is. She is now ready for me to start. That box is, that bag of uh, drills is heavy. Um, this is what happens with a square drill. So... Uh, let me grab my little logbook and here is my sneak peek of my logbook. Um, this is just a happy planner band that goes round um, because then it's got a pen loop so I can keep a pen on it as well. So this is the logbook that I've created. Um, I've added tabs for spare drills, uh, my inventory, my whips, my completed and other. And then the other at the back has got events, notes and um, blah, 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 a wish list. Okay. So gonna go into I'm gonna go into the whips because um although although this isn't a whip at the moment, um, because I haven't officially started, it's going to be a whip. So I'm gonna trim out um I was missing the square sticker and then I realized that it had been placed on the um the cover sheet. So I would prefer to just um put that square one in my journal but i didn't have the option of that on this occasion so i'm just going to trim out oh, i should have left myself a little bit of 
A little bit of leeway to get the backing off, but that's fine. I can do it. There we go. So in my um, little journal, um, I have left myself a space to be able to add a um, picture of the original artwork image. So in this case, it's this one here, which I've just cut from the, um, the sticker sheet. And what I'm going to do then, so what happens is the front page, and the reason I've designed it this way is you'll see, the front page has the photograph of the original artwork and then the photo of the finished project. Um, then I have project name. So let me grab my pen. Where is my pen? Um, let's go with this one. So project name is the whispered word Lenore I have got a start and a finish date on this as well um, on the front, just so it's quick reference. And then on the back is where all of the details for the, um, the project are stored. And the reason I've done this is because I wanted it on one page where once I have then completed it, I can then move it over into the completed section. Um, be in one page. If I'd have had it, it would have been nice to have it where it was, you know, um, the photos on one side or the stickers on one side and then the details on the other but that means then having to move two pages and I wanted everything just to be on one A5 bit of paper so um the kit name so I've put this on I put this on both sides just purely that as a reference to what it's called um I could have cut out I could have cut out that actually I've probably, I probably still could. I know that I've, I've already written it now, but it's fine. Might as well use the sticker whilst it's there, hey? Um, and also I'm going to leave the, um, the bit on there about the artist as well. Oh, there we go. That all goes over, but it's not, it's not a very good cut. But if you give me a second, I shall show you the um, the other side in more detail. Well, you can see it here, but so I'm going to pop. I'm going to pop this here. I don't want to go up too far because I need to leave enough space for the um, for the photo of the finished project. So I'm just going to trim trim out some of this trim out some of this stick up here we are and then we'll go again so let's pop that here okay so we have that so then we'll fill in the um the back so the kit name is the whispered word Lenore and the artist is Jasmine Beckett Griffith. The canvas size is, actually I've got that here as well, the canvas size is 70 by uh, 87 centimetres. Uh, it is a full kit. It is a, a square and it has ABs. Total colours on this is 35. I haven't got the total uh, drills. I can find that on the um, DAC website. Uh, DMC codes is yes. 
it is a poured glue and it is a painting so um the reason i put the project type in there is because um sometimes it may not always be a um, painting so i still want to be able to log my diamond painting projects um so i've given myself grace to be able to use card off the canvas or other uh purchased from i'm gonna write diamond art club because that is the manufacturer um and then i'm just gonna write in brackets um facebook d stash group now i could help myself here by removing this so i can actually write on it properly but um, I'll fill the purchase and the receive date in um, when I've got the details. The price of this that I paid was £40. Um, shipping was included in that price. So the total cost that I actually paid for this kiss, kit, kiss, this kit was £40. Um, no, it wasn't a PR. Um, kitted up on the, what's the date today? Um, I don't even know what date it is. Is it the 7th? Uh, yes, Friday the 7th. Um, kitted up on the 7th of the 4th 2023 um it is good friday today so happy easter everybody uh completed for an event maybe i don't know started on completed on kept gifted sold um and then note name of recipient or price of sold and then notes so this is my little um my little log book um i have a list here for my inventory which i need to go through and fill in i am going to film a video whilst um completing this because i need to go back and actually um add some uh details in for the other kits that i have um kitted up and um either finished or um still working on so yes thanks very much for joining me today for today's long long kitting up video but we got there and i'm super excited to um, be able to start this as soon as possible I think this is going to be one that I'll have to do in the dining room just because I've got a bit more room in there um, to be able to spread this one out uh, but yes thanks for joining me if you've enjoyed it as always if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up it really helps other people um, find my channel um, and also leave me any comments down below and don't forget to subscribe if you are new I'll see you all again next time bye Okay, if you're still there, look what I've just found. All the way at the bottom of the bag are those two missing stickers. Look, panic over. I will fix it and I'll see you next time. Bye.